Hey guys, thanks for joining me for part two of my look at the Silverhawks Ultimates Wave 1 Buzzsaw action figure. In the first part, we checked out the figure in its entirety. In the second part here, we're going to check out all of the accessories that it comes with. And there's a hell of a lot, guys. So bring the shred. Okay, he gets an alternate head here. It's got the same facial expression as the regular head. However, this one has got a smoother saw blade okay the first one had serrated edges on this head saw blade but this one here it's smooth and it spins guys it spins <laughs> okay <laughs> he also gets another alternate head this one has him looking a little bit more deranged it's definitely more dramatic okay let's just pop it in there okay yank the other head out and just get his new one in and you know what with this expression, yeah, you know, he looks like he could be yelling at you, okay, like straight up just screaming at you in anger. Or it could be that he's also laughing maniacally. <laughs> now, this one has the same head saw blade design as the one from earlier that couldn't move, but this one does, okay, it spins. You do wonder though, couldn't they have found a way to just combine the features and just reduce one of the heads to save costs? I don't know, okay, right? But hey, look, you know, who's going to say no to some extra head? Basso also gets this bright yellow arm cannon. Check out this thing here. You know, it's just nice and cylindrical. I love the shape of this thing. It looks fantastic. Okay, it's also pretty solid. It's made out of that same vinyl-like rubber substance, you know, that goes into a lot of the figure itself. But this one's solid, okay? It's not flexible, okay? You just plug it into that slot there, into that whole attachment area that he's got here. This whole attachment area also houses the spinning blade at his hand. You know, the whole thing is made out of vinyl. It's not really a good fit. I wish that it was made out of better, harder plastic, okay? But you still manage to get the arm cannon in there, get it slotted in there, and then he's ready to start blasting away, okay? He's ready to go all Megatron on some Silverhawk's ass. Just Okay, more accessories. He also gets these two pull handles that are extended, okay? I suppose these are the ones that he just pulls on to get all of the blades spinning, okay? But however, these come with these really fragile looking end tips, okay? These chip off. Look at this thing here, okay? It's already chipping off because it's made out of that pretty flexible like rubber, okay? Rubber-like material, okay? So when you plug it into this main chest area here, into the slot, that's in the chest area here. It really doesn't help it, okay, to stay firm, I suppose. So probably don't plug it in and out all that much, all right? You know, this thing doesn't really hold up, I suppose, okay? But yeah, you know, it is a pretty interesting alternate look. You know, you can get his hand sort of like holding on to the handle here to make it seem like it's about to start ripping away, all right? But uh, it's not really an essential look, okay? But it's a look that you get anyway. Okay, then he gets his bird companion. Shredditor. Okay, Shredditor is really, really nicely detailed and thankfully it's made out of harder plastic, okay, not that flexible shit, okay, but the harder plastic, you know, and he looks great, okay, he looks evil. You can't imagine that an innocent looking bird like this could be evil, but look at those eyes, man. Nothing but contempt for all life in the universe. Now, his wings deploy out fully for combat, okay? This is a very cool touch here. Get them all deployed like this, okay? Spread out with all those sharp edge tips here. Check this out, okay? He looks absolutely fantastic. He's got an articulated head, okay? That's great, okay? Sky Shadow did it, but he does. And you know, the other cool thing about this is that he can spin. He spins fully around just like in a very deadly slicing and spinning attack mode feature. Check this out, man. It's great that they thought of this. It's great that they included it because it's a throwback to the classic Shredator from Kenner. The classic Shredator, I reviewed it on the channel a year ago together with Buzzsaw. Go check out that old video. Anyway, when you push it on Shredator's head like this, it causes the main body to spin. Yeah, one of those classic Kenner action gimmicks from back in the day. So it's fantastic that we're seeing these throwbacks in the modern, updated Buzzsaw and Shredator set as well, okay? But there's one more thing here about Shredditor. Yeah, you may have thought they would have ignored, but no, man, they didn't, okay? You see this tiny little saw blade here on Shredditor's head? Okay, this thing actually moves, okay? This small little saw blade is articulated. How about that? Okay, they could have just made it static, but they made it spin, okay? Spin and slice. How can this not be the creature companion action figure of the year, man? Look at this. Okay, Buzzsaw also gets a set of alternate opened mechanical claw hands, okay? These are for him to like just grip stuff, just grip things, you know, okay? Grip at each other, I don't know, man, okay? But it's great that he's got this alternative because you need it for him to hold on to this huge blaster cannon. I love this thing, man. 
I love that it has a different color schematic from everything else that's on the figure, okay? It's not yellow or bright brown or orange or anything like that. No, man, this thing is just dark, man. It's beautiful, okay? And it's solid, okay? Um, it's made out of the same material as the figure, but it's not flexible or doesn't feel too rubbery or anything like that. And it fits in absolutely amazing into his claw hand. Check out this guy from head to toe, man. He's fully armored, okay? How can... Anything in the galaxy stop bus saw, you know, from head to toe. Okay, he's got, you know, he's got this blaster cannon here. He's got this arm cannon on the other side there. He's got blades all around, spinning blades everywhere. Okay, he's got like this shredder companion bird to assist him. Nothing can stop this guy. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> except maybe for himself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know what? This Buzzsaw action figure set is absolutely one of the best action figures I think I've received this year. You know, never mind what I said about the quality control issues. You know, every toy is going to have them. But I think in the scope, the grand scheme of everything that you're getting here, this figure is fucking amazing, okay? Honestly speaking, all right? You're paying the same price for this as any one of those other Silver Hawks figures. I mean, the basic Silver Hawks figures like Quicksilver, Steelheart, Bluegrass, they're all about 55 bucks. This one's 55 bucks as well, but it's like a mega deluxe figure. Okay, they didn't skimp on any of the accessories. They threw in everything. You get a fully rocking, articulated, action-packed companion bird as well, okay? Man, this thing is just over the top. It's one of those cases where I feel that... It's like one of those situations where I feel that they over-delivered on one of the figures in the assortment. And it's this guy, okay? It's like a bonus to fans. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Thank you and take care out there.